This Real to Real holiday special is brought to you by the caring people of the Dunahue Funeral Homes who wish you, your family and loved ones, every joy and happiness of this blessed holiday season. Tonight on Real to Real, the sounds of the season will come alive as children from around the Delaware Valley celebrate the Yuletide with traditional Christmas songs. And we'll have holiday messages from the bishops of Trenton, Camden, and the Archbishop of Philadelphia. And we'll pay tribute to the traditional Christmas play as we follow a second grader in her role as Mary. Hello, I'm Isabel Galvery. And I'm Father Dave McGowan. Welcome to this special Christmas edition of Real to Real. was the night before Christmas, and all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. With these words, Clement Clark Moore gave birth to a tradition in 1822, when he wrote the night before Christmas as a gift to his children, a tradition that is alive and well today as parents tell that same story to their children amidst wide-eyed excitement of the gifts that Santa will bring. And tonight, to remember some of the excitement of being a child at Christmas, we come to you from the Laurel Hill Mansion in Philadelphia's Fairmount Park. Merry Christmas, Belle. Merry Christmas, Father. For a child, Christmas is the one time of the year that is truly magical and full of sweet memories. Who can forget the wonderful fragrance of the house while helping mom bake cookies or setting up the nativity scene so that all the little figures were in just the right position around the baby Jesus? Or remember Christmas Eve, hearing the sound of footsteps on the roof and waking up to find that indeed Santa had visited in a child's Christmas, memories are made to last a lifetime. And to begin tonight, we've asked St. Boniface Choir of Philadelphia to sing of the first child to celebrate Christmas, not the baby Jesus but a guest at that little stable in Bethlehem, the little drummer boy.
blessed Christmas to all. I am Bishop Reese of the Diocese of Trenton, and I am happy to share this special moment with you. My Christmas memories are filled not only with the faces of family, friends, and loved ones, but with emotion. As a child, I remember the anticipation of so many Christmas Eves, anticipation that made it difficult to sleep. I remember the joy of so many Christmas mornings, the excitement of discovering Santa's many presents. I remember feelings of confusion celebrating Christmas during the war years and feeling blessed when peace again covered the earth. Later, I remember feelings of awe and wonder as I reflected on God's great love for his people. Indescribable feelings as I celebrated my first Christmas Mass as a priest. Through the years of sharing Christmas with those closest to me, I recall feelings of peacefulness and hope despite difficulties and worries. This year, as we celebrate new Christmas memories, may the anticipation we experience through Advent explode into excitement and joy as we remember the many gifts God has given to us. May any doubts, confusion, or lack of faith be replaced by the unmistakable presence of God's blessing. May our eyes rise above our daily routine to see the world again with wonder and awe. May our hearts be filled with peace and hope as we reflect on the greatest gift of all, the gift of God himself. And no matter what 1986 may hold in store, know that the gift of God's love for us, made manifest by that child in the manger, last not for a day or a year, but for eternity. May the infant Savior bless you. At the Donahue Funeral Home, we're always gratified to hear from the families we serve. Over the years, many bereaved families have told us how much they appreciated the warm, home-like atmosphere of the Donahue Funeral Home. To make such moments perhaps a little less difficult, the Donahue Funeral Home suggests that you discuss with us now, in the privacy of your home, pre-arrangement and the financial advantages and peace of mind it brings. That's what living is all about. all the toys and decorations, it's easy for a child to forget that the true meaning of Christmas is to celebrate the birthday of our Lord. But one tradition that captures the significance of the birth of Jesus is the Christmas play at school. And tonight, we're going to see a memory in the making as we travel to the Church of the Transfiguration in West Collingswood, New Jersey. Throughout the show, we'll follow second grader Kristen Taranova as she prepares to play the part of the Blessed Mother. And we'll see through her eyes a child's view of Christmas. Good. Now I need the people for scene two, okay? The first time we rehearsed, I was a little bit scared, but when we um, started, I wasn't nervous no more. Walk like you're going to walk up, all right? Wait, not yet. The narrator starts. Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem. Kind sir, we are tired and weary. The house is full. Sir, do you have room for a weary? There is no room. Go away. Who is that knocking at my door so late at night? Kind sir, we are tired and weary. We have come so many miles. Can you give us shelter for the night? There is all the stable that isn't full. That is the very place that is nice and warm. Do you sleep with the kind animals would indeed be a comfort. And I will go get the lantern to show you the way. My brothers and sisters, Christmas songs are among the world's most beautiful and meaningful. One of them describes the wonder of Christmas by proclaiming, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. This is what makes Christmas so special. At Christmas, we recognize in the Christ child all of our own dreams, hopes, and prayers. 
In Jesus we find the answer to our troubles and our innermost hopes and aspirations. What mankind sought over the ages and looks for still are peace and love and hope. Today we see so much uncertainty, so much fear and terror in the midst of our own personal fears and worries and worldwide terrorism and war, Jesus comes to bring peace and a deep sense of the worth of each one of us, no matter what our circumstances. Because of his birth, we are given a new hope, a new understanding of our dignity and destiny. His love for us makes us confident in the midst of all that life has in store for us. Christmas tells us that we are loved by God. Amazing, loved by God. And should respond with our love for him and for one another. His love gives us hope despite all the difficulties and problems in our personal lives and in our world. And so let us open our hearts to Jesus as we celebrate his birth. The only return for his love for us is for us to love him back. And so may this Christmas fit you and your loved ones with peace, a peace the world cannot give, a peace which this holy night brings us, or as the song put it, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. A blessed Christmas and New Year to you all. One of my favorite memories of the holiday season is getting together with friends to decorate a tree and go caroling. It didn't matter whether you had a beautiful voice or you were tone deaf. What was important were the feelings of warmth and the laughter. We'd sing songs like Deck the Halls, The Twelve Days of Christmas, and my favorite, Silent Night. Here's Michael Shea of the Archdiocesan Boys Choir to sing that gentle Christmas song.
I said, Mommy, Mommy, did it need, Mom, I just got it, I got a part in the play. Do you know what one it is? And she, I don't know. So she went, and I went, it's Mary. Try it on. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Right. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Find the orange one on this side. Okay. Okay. What do you think? How do you feel? Fine. Uh -huh. You feel fine in that? Uh huh. That's good. Look really pretty. Think that's a good length for your arms? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Because you love your family, now is the time to consider the financial advantages of a Donahue prearranged funeral. The caring, sensitive people of the Donahue Funeral Home invite you to discuss with them in the privacy of your home the many advantages of an inflation-protected Donahue prearranged funeral. With prearrangement, you can fix the cost of a funeral at today's prices permanently and gain peace of mind for yourself and your family. And that's what living is all about. When we look back on Christmas past, most of what we remember is the anticipation of Christmas Day. It would begin slowly after Thanksgiving. A few houses would hang lights outside, but before you knew it, the street lights were decorated and there was old St. Nick on every corner. People were dashing in and out of stores, their arms full of packages, and on every face there was a smile. There was a sense of magic in the air. Here now is the Corpus Christi Girls Choir of Willingboro, New Jersey to sing, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. This part is to remember your lines. Storks. Okay. Right off. Okay. And if you need help with the cone, all right, you have somebody just push it in. I know it might hurt a little bit, but at least that way we'll be sure that it won't fall off while you're on the stage. Okay. Huh?
as we approach the feast of Christmas, the nativity of Christ, our attention is focused on the great mystery of the redemption and Christ the Redeemer, who is the center of the universe and of history. The feast of Christmas is truly a feast of joy, a feast of hope, a feast of love. It is a feast of joy because Christ, the Son of Man, took on human flesh and in a sense became our brother, intimately united with all of us. It is a feast of joy because it reflects the tremendous love God has for each of us. It reflects our own importance in the sight of God, our dignity, our value. It is a feast of hope because it begins the life of Christ, which leads to the cross, to his death and resurrection, through which we look forward to our spiritual destiny, our return to God, from whom we came, from whom we receive the life that he sustains for us. But above all, it is a feast of love, God's love for us, the love of Christ for us. Christ said that greater love no one has than to give his life for another. And Christ did that. He did it for you. He did it for me. Man cannot live without love. Man is incomprehensible to himself without love. Man must encounter, experience, participate in love. And in this sense, the feast of Christmas is a feast of love, God's love for us, and the love which we should reciprocate to him. Truly, my wish for each of you is that you might acquire a much deeper, more spiritual appreciation of this feast of the birth of Christ, and that through that appreciation, you may live Christ, echo his words, radiate his love, and eventually enjoy the tremendous joy, live the hope, and experience the love, the love which God has for us. To all of you, I wish a most joyful, hopeful, and loving Feast of Christmas. The end is when we sing, um, I think, Silent Night in the Way in the Manger. Do not be afraid, Mary. I am Gabriel, the angel of the Lord. I have come to tell you that you are favored in the sight of God. <laughs> Sir, do you have room for weary? There's no room. Go away. Look, Joseph, there's another room. <clears throat> we have followed the star for many miles. We are searching for the newborn king. Look here, I'm the only king of all of We have seen the star and the angels who invited us to come to see the Savior of the world.
the birth of Jesus 2,000 years ago heralded great hope for this world. And the birth of every child today re-echoes that hope. We wish all of you a loving and Merry Christmas. And all the best for your new year. Merry Christmas. This Reel to Reel holiday special was brought to you by the caring people of the Dunahue Funeral Homes who wish you, your family and loved ones, every joy and happiness of this blessed holiday season. Travel arrangements for Reel to Reel by Atkinson and Mullen Travel of Media PA. Phone area 215-565-7070. While they were there, the days of her confinement were completed. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the place where travelers lodged. Those gospel words describe the first Christmas. They will be read in your parish this Christmas too. May you and your family listen to them with joy. I'm Monsignor Walsh, wishing you God's blessings in this Christmas season. Many people find retirement isn't as much fun as they thought it would be. Too much time on their hands, too little to do. The Retired Senior Volunteer Program has thousands of opportunities for retired executives, housewives, engineers, teachers, whatever your skills or schedule. RSVP has something to fit anyone's interests. You can do what you want, when you want to do it, and still enjoy your well-earned retirement. What's your problem? Let's see. Let's figure this out. You've learned a lot in your life share the experience of a lifetime. 